Yeah, it's a newly constructed frame where they put the the sun hieroglyph in it. They give, they're giving each other signals, you know. There it is. Another hitchhiker that didn't make it. The all-seeing eye. This is the pupil there in the middle. And a bit long, you know, at the end, just like the pharaohs, you know, with the mascara, you know, with some black tulipans. Wasn't there sort of a Freemason lodge with the, called the Black Tulip or something? So just at the, um, at Ground Zero, they put it everywhere. There's a logo, you know, with the, uh, with the pyramid on top of it, here in Altkirch. Six of them. Here's nine, maybe the nine sisters of Isis. So it's everywhere. So I'm going to do some hitchhiking here. You know, sandals in my hands. And uh, just walk through the mud, you know. It's great, I tell you. It's great. I hope you can see it. I can't look at the LCD anymore like this. I hope I don't slip. Oh, it's nice and warm, you know, it's like, just like the frogs, I'm in froggy country. Feel the energy being sucked up by my feet, you know, it's better than shiatsu or acupressure, whatever you call it. Walking the mud. Still, I got two backpacks, you know, one at the front and one at the back. There was a, a lot of heavy rain yesterday. This in German, it co it's called Raps. I don't know what the name is in English, you know. And they even make petrol out of it, you know. You can, in Germany, you can buy it at, a, uh, at the petrol station. Rapsöl. You know, for your car. Like petrol, gasoline. What a yellow carpet, eh? <laughs> nice. So if you do a walkabout, you know, like the Abos, like the Aborigines, uh, it takes three days, you know, to, you know, me too, I, you know, I'm sitting inside all the time. I know it takes three days, you know, I don't, you know, I'm tired, everything is hurting, I'm not used to it, getting older. But after three days, I'm fine, it could go on forever, you know. Uh, yeah, three days, max, if you got your gear right. Almost stepped on it. And then I saw the all-seeing eye, you know, I'm so trained on the all-seeing eye. Yeah, there it is. Nice. I mean, People talk a lot, you know, about God, you know, and it's here, you know, nature, sleeping rough, you know, that's divine, it's all here, and don't circumcise yourself, you know, stay intact, you know, Circum circumcision is like Monsanto, you know, like taking over nature, it's against the, uh, uh, it's against God's uh, conception, if you do believe in God. I don't really. I, I, I have no idea. I never felt something like God. I don't say it doesn't. It's not there, you know. But uh, if it is there, you know, then it's here, you know. Uh, I never felt anything like a contact. So I, I, I can't say, you know. Uh, you know. I just don't know. But if somebody is happy with it, you know. But don't circumcise yourself, you know, because that's an alliance with evil. It doesn't mean people are all people are circumcised as they are bad, not at all. The pharaohs only circumcised the people, you know, they only were slaves, they didn't do it on themselves. The Jews like they were four hundred years. years slaves with them, and that's why they circumcised. They are a product of the Horus Matrix. Uh, but then, 
you know, like religion or the God thing, you know, took over, you know, too, too violently and they didn't obey the king anymore. They said, no, well, my king is God, you know, or Yahweh or whatever, you know, just like the Arabs. So they couldn't control them anymore, you know, and getting too patriarchal as well. So these sisters of Isis, you know, to get rid of them, you know. Their own idea got too dominant and too strong, you know. So, again, the first will be the last, you know. They make an idea, you know, to control people with a religion and a church and a circumcision. You know, and finally, you know, it doesn't work anyway, you know. See what I'm, see what I'm getting at? Okay. My bio butterfly. I'm not going to step on you. <laughs> Wouldn't do that. Hi there. So I'm going to see the dentist. I have to be there tomorrow morning. So I have to. I want to be there this evening in Strasbourg. So I hope it will work out, and I hope you you can. It can still be fixed. So yesterday the pain was killing me. It was going to my eyes, into my ear, everywhere. A headache. And I was chewing, you know, garlic the whole day. I had garlic on, it, on every side of my teeth. You know, I opened it, I split it and put like a, a garlic sandwich. You know, only garlic, but you know, it looked like a little sandwich. You know, a slice, a slice of garlic on, on all sides of my teeth. And that's quite powerful. Uh, of course, I tried clove as well. Uh, already before, you know, I already tried it before the uh, the advice of, or, you know, some of you good people giving me some nice advice, you know. But I, I did try it with, with the avocado, uh, the avocado uh, stone. I, I boiled it, but it didn't work. I think garlic is really powerful, you know, keeping in your mouth. It, it really hurts. And uh, maybe I, I bought the, uh, well, I, I got some clove oil, but I, I never tried it. But I, I tried clove. It works a little bit, but garlic really, you know, it's like an uh, anesthetic. You know, it really did, did do the job, you know. So I had it inside the whole day, yesterday. At least I could sleep. So I bloody hope it will work tomorrow, you know. It will. So, garlic, it's, it kills the pain, yeah. <laughs> it's all the way from here, barefoot, uh, for about an hour. And uh, so now I'm going to enter the forest here. So I'd rather put on my sandals. And this is in France, so next to the Swiss border. I don't know, like... 20 k's away maybe, birds line, uh, birds view, and uh, this is full of bunkers of the First World War. Uh, yeah, maybe the lines were going to Basel, I don't know, so this is not very far from Basel. It's a nice forest, nobody ever comes in here I think, you know. So, so I put on my sandals. Because it's a bit more complicated in the forest, you know, it's all branches, of course, branches falling off. And, uh, yeah, my extra extraterrestrial feet, my alien feet, you know, we, they are not adapted to this planet. As I told you before, so. I have a feeling this ditch is not natural, you know, a river 
would make a bend, you know, naturally. But not a ditch, a ditch, you know, like farmers make them straight, you know. So I think these were the trenches and, I, and they just let the trees grow over it, you know. So I'm pretty sure these are trenches, were trenches. And of course in those days there were no trees at all, yet. <clears throat> I got stuck there in the high grass, was even higher, so I'm full of ticks now. And they carry a lot of dangerous diseases here. So I'm pretty sure these were the trenches here, but of course water found its way and made it larger and deeper. Uh, sometimes a bit like this. So I tried to cross it here, take off my shoes, and uh, so, you know, take another way. This is not French police doing some stopping somebody, probably some Arabs in it. It's good to have some zoom, you know. <laughs> Probably waiting for the customers, you know, to search the car, come with the dogs, you know. So I just got in Strasbourg. See the dentist tomorrow. So I got in Strasbourg. So tomorrow I'll go and see the dentist. I hope it will work out. Oh yeah, in Strasbourg, I don't know, a lot of cages here all over. And this here is, of course, the, uh, this is the Horus Matrix, no doubt. There's a lion, Isis, so that means Isis, the sisters of Isis, they tamed, they tamed the lion, or the lion in man. And that's why there's the baby, little Horus, you know, he's just going to be a, a, a garden gnome obeying to Isis. And this is why at Omaha Beach on 666, all these people had to die. You know, before men were like lions, you know. No, they are. They just say, yes, Mr. President, no, Miss, Mrs. President, you know. So, well, it's all over, you know. This, is, this thing is endless. It's like from a Sylvester Stallone movie, like Rambo, you know, like some Russian cages, I don't know. Some sort of a castle. Oh, this is still Strasbourg. There was a tunnel in there. I don't know what it is. The old Alsatian houses. So today is um, May 8th, it was, it's the end of the Second World War, 70 years ago, so it's a, uh, it's a holiday here in France. In Switzerland it's not a holiday because uh, it was a sad thing, the Second World War ended, because they had to stop making money, lots of money. So, this is all fresh, I wanted to be here today, but I'm a couple of hours late. You can see the hip hypocrisy, the four pillars, you know, the four elements of a pyramid. There, there you have it. <laughs> Even the tree is like an obelisk here. Oh, there it is. Two French tanks. Banner. They made cars too before. The French always have funny systems, you know. This is light, fast. Probably goes over everything, like you know. So they got the wheels here, you know, to go fast on the well, you know, when when the terrain is okay, and then they can lower these ones here, you know, to be like a tank and go through the mud. Interesting. The French always have like interesting solutions. Well, that's me. 
stupid wars, eh? So they have the flags out all over, otherwise you wouldn't, well maybe only here, but it's flags all over. And there's another, another char, uh, another tank. So here it says Altkirch, this is where I am. Yeah. And there's a monument for the, the Alsatians who were in the, in the German army and died. <clears throat> because these are Swiss, you know, Alsace is actually Swiss, you know. So when things were going okay, you know, they murdered people in, in the East and Russia. You see the German uniform, you know, in France. And, uh, well, they managed to, you know, to, uh, uh, to make people think, you know, they were really forced into the German army. You know. uh, but, you know, okay, they were forced, but uh, they could have refused a little bit more. You know. Organ, organization Tombov. That's probably in Russia where they went into a uh, um, uh, into a, a camp, a Russian camp. You know. So now they oh nice sandals. I've got sandals like that. Wow. Look, look at my sandals here. Yeah? Looks similar. So yeah, interesting tank. Still an interesting, you know, mechanism even today, you know. So stupid wars, eh? So there was a ceremony here and I missed it. <laughs> you know, with the hitchhiking and everything, you know, it's not that easy. And uh interesting system. Probably gets lowered. I, I, I've seen the same thing with trucks, you know, with lorries. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't want to go to Strasbourg to a ceremony maybe because it's too big. I should have. So I wanted to go here, you know, a bit smaller, you know, but I'm, you know, I missed it. Why do you think they put nobles there? Eh? It's always, uh, you know, connected with death. That's the whole thing here. Stupid war, stupid humanity, you know. Stop killing each other. Uh, we have to get rid of Switzerland, the base of all evil, where the money is and the Swiss banks and their Templars, you know. And the enemy within. Then we might stop all these wars. We need a good war against the enemy within. Oh, no, not kill each other because we speak a different language. Have another uniform. Well, this is insane, isn't it? This is what I got, you know, the the, uh, the combatants, you know, l'ancien combattant. They even have a, uh, a magazine. Somebody gave that to me for the old. You know, and they get a medal. He was five years in Algeria. He got a couple of medals too. You know what he told me? He had to pay. The, he had to pay for the medals. <laughs> it's all calculated. Pay for the pay for the the, the medals. You know, some junk metal. Sure. Well, this is the French flag, red, white, and blue. Red and white, just like Switzerland, for the two uh, red and white house of ancient Egypt, and then blue for the blue crown of war. This is a war faring nation, and Switzerland is like their neutral place. The, uh, the per head is the white house in the middle. Upper Egypt and the uh, the red house of the Per Tasser, just like the USA, Britain, three colors of Pharaoh. And then, you know, if you wage war for them, this will happen to you. you know, you'll die, and they fill up their pockets. You know.
is how you how you land. Fight war for them. Yeah, German uniform. And you're not so strong anymore. Yeah. In other words, blue is the war and red and white is the Swiss bank, you know, where they where they keep the money. So you'll die, that's blue, the blue for the tears, and they get filthy rich, red and white. <laughs> and they make a nice Hollywood film of it for the next generations. How good war is, you know, and how good it is to be a hero and see something of the world. Then the other side it's full of pharaonic symbols here. Three rings here, Isis, Horus and Seth, balls for the world domination. Oh. There too. Mm. kind of a statue there is. So, well, let's get another kebab. Kebab my way around, you know. I know I know a Kurdish uh, kebab place here. It's already fed me twice. I don't even have to ask anyone. I, you know, I come inside, you know, and say hello, how are you doing? I don't like it, what the, uh, what the, uh, what they're doing with the Kurdish people, which of course I don't like, they're bad, you know. They're nice people. And, uh, wow. Then, up. before I know it, they got a, a kebab in front of my nose, and I can eat it even inside there. Nice people. So, let's see if it works. I have to put on the other camera. So, I just kebab my way around, sitting here next to the octagon. And the obelisk. What's this? So, um, I've been knowing these Kurds here f for some time now. And really good people, you know. I don't have to ask anything. When I come there, it's like, you know, you're, they don't even ask if you're hungry. <laughs> they just come with the food, you know. And I had meat, you know, the kebab meat and chips, you know, french fries, bread, uh, there was another Kurdish guy when I talked about the Pesh, you know, the Pesh the, that's, that's the Kurdish warrior, he, um, he came immediately like what do you want to drink, you know, so I, I drank some, some, uh, some like fermented milk, like buttermilk sort of thing. And, uh, and then the old lady, the old mother, she came with tea, a real sweet lady. And then the daughter, I was always talking to her. She said, well, I, I thought of you a couple of days. Well, you know, like, what are you doing? Are you still around? And they say, well, you take some bread with you and you can come back when you, when you want, you know. There's so many immigrants, you know, who forgot where they come from, you know, like a lot of Africans, you know, and, all, you know, the misery they came from. But the, uh, these Kurds, you know, they, they don't forget, you know. Uh, real hospitable. What's that, a castle or a monastery? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Monastery. An obelisk and a monastery. Well, this is the priest of Amun. So, I mean... <laughs> Why did they put a monastery on it, you know? This is what I've been telling you, you know. It's all from Egypt. It's an obelisk. They put it on an obelisk. They, they know it. You know. Pharaohs, the priests of Amun, Octogon, me, Kebab. So, you know, it's, it's really heartwarming as well. It didn't even, it didn't just fill my stomach, but it's so heartwarming, you know. Uh, and, th and this is why they don't like the uh, the Kurds, you know, because these people are solid, solidary with each other, you know. They don't let you starve in the streets or, you know, they, they, they feed you through, you know, and you can come back. They're solidary and they don't want people to be solidary. 
you know, they want people to to ret on their neighbours, you know, to call up the police and to uh, this is what they want, you know, so divide and rule. And people who listen to uh, to ISIS and these uh, these female Kurds, they they love their men. I can see that, you know. They respect the man. They don't want to play that game, eh? And um, yeah, heartwarming. Thank you, good Kurds. So from Kurdistan, I have to go back to Helvetistan now, unfortunately, or Swissistan. Yeah. It's a petrol station. I've been hitchhiking here since last night. And I just don't get away, you know. People, well, not a lot of friendly people. They're all going the other way, you know. And then somebody came and said, "Well, we ordered something, some things too, too many. Do you want to have it?" You know. So well, I was really happy. So some new energy. <clears throat> I don't think my tooth is it's good yet. Uh, it doesn't feel good, but well, let's just let's see. At least I went to the dentist. But of course, it's not you know. Uh, it's, it's for uh, you know. It's free dental help. You know, so it's probably not all the way the same quality. You know. So we can hear the frogs. It reminds me of how to boil a frog. You know. If you want to eat it, you know, and, and digest it, you, you put it in hot water, it jumps out, you know. But if you, uh, th this is really the way they do it, actually. If you put it in warm water, you know, like body temperature, you know, he thinks it's, ah, the frog thinks, oh, this, is, this is nice, you know. And then you slowly boil it, you slowly make it hotter and, and, and until it boils. Then the frog stays inside because it goes slowly, slowly, slowly. And he dies and, you know, you can eat it, you know, nice flesh. It's probably a bit like, um, like chicken. And this is the same way they're doing it with us, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly. So, it just reminded me, you know, hearing Froggy here. <laughs> this is how they do it. Oh, what a noise. Funky country. Well, I went to the dentist and they, well, I hope it's okay now. I'm gonna sleep here. <laughs>